Hey, this is Brayden Builds back with another LEGO review. This time on the Death Star Cannon from the LEGO Star Wars 2020 line. Comes with 159 pieces and the set number is 75246. I found this set at my local Kohl's. I got it for $20. Comes with two minifigures and a little part of the Death Star. Let's review some of its play features. So let's uh, look at some of the play features on this set. First here we have to take off old Obi-Wan Kenobi. We bring it around this side, you could see this little control panel. I guess that would be fun for people that would want to play with this set. I just use it for a little display, put it up on my shelf. Uh, and then we bring it around to the back here. We see this little lever that you can pull out and it'll bring down the beam or the projector for the engine and that's how he shuts down the Death Star's engine. You pull it out and it just goes down and uh, that's pretty much it for this side. You just pull it up, push back in the pin and it goes stays up and it runs off a little platform there. I think this scene is also on the 2016 actual Death Star. Uh, and I think it's in the back part of it, the scene. And then let's take a look at the cannon. So this side of the cannon has this red, I guess, cap piece. And that's pretty much it for that side. And a little hook. For the back, it has this little wheel, I guess, for turning it. And then also where the back where the flip fire missile could go. I just don't have that in right now. Because for display, I didn't want it in. It doesn't look that good actually with that green. Uh, and then that's pretty much for the side. It's of these two clamps. And then for the front, there's a little green cone piece and two cannons, I guess. And the little seat for the Death Star Gunner. And the cannon can go up and down in almost 360 degrees. Also, it has a little uh, spring-loaded shooter holder. And that's pretty much it. Just look at the front. Real quick look. That's what it looks like. And that's pretty much it for the play features on this set. So, these are the minifigures included in this set. First off, we here we have the Death Star Gunner. He comes with a helmet and a short pistol. Now let's get into his torso and leg prints. So his torso includes like a black sweater and a black belt with silver accents. And his leg piece is printed with, I guess, a little black pants. And that's pretty much it with some gray wrinkles. His back printing is the belt coming around and uh, continuing the black sweater, I guess you could call it a sweater. That's pretty much it. Let's get into the helmet. The helmet has a Empire insignia on it right there at the top. And it has like a little visor, but you can't see through it. Just like they made it from the movie. A little speaker in the helmet. Now, let's look at the face. The face is pretty regular face for minifigure like this it has a little headphone with the microphone and that's pretty much it for the death star gunner now let's take a look at the other minifigure in this set the other minifigure is old obi-wan kenobi with a lightsaber a brown cape and a hood so let's look at the lightsaber first. The lightsaber is a little fogged up. I think that's one of the coolest parts of the set. The lightsaber is a little fogged up because back in A New Hope it actually looked like that. And I think that's a really cool feature that I added to make it movie accurate. And the lightsaber, new lightsaber hilt. Now I'll take a look at the torso print. The torso print includes a white, not white, a tan robe with a brown undershirt and a brown belt with a golden buckle. 
and that's it for the torso print. The cape is the old style cape, hard, not like the cloth, the new cloth ones, and it's in a brown color. Now let's look at the hood. The hood is this different type of hood. It's the it's a hood with no like little bottom connector like this blue one from Barris O Free. It's a different hood with like no connector at the bottom. And like the back is a diff a little different. This one has like a little lip. Different than the other one. That's pretty much it for the hood. And now let's take a look at the face. He has two gray eyebrows and a gray beard with some wrinkles and some nice printed eyes. But there's no double face. I think they could have done a double face on this guy. That's it for old Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here's my overall overview of the set. I think this set is a really good play set. Not very good for display because there's a lot of open parts to it. But... I also think one of the upsides is the details on these minifigures. And I think just they're really detailed and Lego's doing a better and better job every year of making these more detailed minifigures in sets like this. I think I would give this set an overall 8 out of 10. Because of its playability is really nice for people that want to play with this set. And I think the minifigure selection is just awesome, like I said before. And the cannon actually is one of the best parts. The cannon looks so good on this, the Death Star cannon. I think they re did a really good job modeling this. And I think that's my overview of this set. And stay tuned for more LEGO reviews. See ya.